this video will be my solution to day 13 of Advent of Code. This problem, again, um, wanted us to use our intercode computer, and the inputs provided um, would create a game, an arcade game. Um, the extra information we had about this particular game was that any outputs we were given would draw on the screen, so we knew um, if it was going to be empty or a wall or a block, a ball or a paddle. On top of that, we knew that um, our inputs could move the joystick. So at the input of zero would keep the joystick in the neutral position, minus one would tilt it to the left, and one would tilt it to the right. So I've got a very similar setup as before. I'm not actually going to talk too much about the code with this one. I'm just going to show you the, the result. Um, so first, I'm going to set off the code. And there's a breakpoint in there just so I can show you what's happening before the whole thing runs. So what you can see here is every time there's an output, it adds it to here. And I'm only storing three at a time because the first output tells us our x coordinate, the second output tells us our y coordinate, and then the third output tells us what we need to draw there. So you can see when I click on here, all these gray walls or blocks, sorry, are twos. All the blank cells are zero. These walls on the outside are ones. This is the ball, which is four, and this is the paddle, which is three. I'm gonna remove that breakpoint and just let it run through. So this is it running. Um, you can see that a score goes up every time it hits a block, so that's another one of the outputs the opcode provides. Um, the game was far too difficult to actually play manually. I couldn't move the paddle well enough to hit the ball in the right position. So instead, I just wrote a bit of code that meant that the paddle essentially follows the ball left and right across the screen. And it seems to be doing the job very well. The solution to this puzzle, the answer we had to submit was what was the score after we have destroyed all the blocks. So what I'm going to do is let this code run through and I will speed it up and at the end we will see what the score is. And there we have it. All the blocks are cleared and we are given our final score. If you want to have a go at this challenge or any of the others from Advent of Code, I have put the link in the description. If you want a copy of any of my spreadsheets, then please drop me an email and I'll be happy to send them on to you. Thanks for watching.